Welcome back, another episode. Time travels forward one year and three months from the events of the All-American Season 5 finale and All-American Season 6 Episode 1. While Daniel Ezra's character Spencer is succeeding on the football field, Samantha Logan's character Alvia is experiencing awkwardness in their relationship. Although Patience believes she is prepared to take the stage again, she must deal with Coops and Layla's unwanted hovering. Furthermore, is the long-standing relationship between Spencer and Jordan going to resurface? This is what transpired during Season 6 of All Americans. Spencer and Jordan are perilously close to going back to where they know. A sports journalist is having a conversation with Spencer and Coach Boone on the Golden Angeles University field regarding the team's achievements. The fact that the squad was serving a ban is the sole reason they aren't bowl champions. As the talk focuses on Spencer, the reporter notes that he is a candidate for the Heisman Trophy as a junior and that he will soon be eligible for the draft. With a sly smile, Spencer claims he's just thinking about the season. He brings Jordan over in an attempt to bring him into the conversation. Jordan feels dissatisfied when the journalist ends the interview too soon. Jordan observes from the locker room as Boone summons Spencer to his office. Jordan quips sarcastically to a fellow player that Spencer acts like he's the only reason the squad succeeds. The athlete jokes that Jordan is Tito and Spencer is Michael Jackson. Regarding Spencer, the coach notes that during practice, he appeared disinterested. Spencer accuses the reporters of being present, but Boone mentions Olivia's impending return. Boone cautions Spencer not to let Olivia be a distraction, but the coach is delighted that his best player is reunited with the love of his life. With Olivia gone, Spencer was laser-focused and developed both on and off the field. Boone doesn't want Spencer to throw away all of this hard work. In the beach house kitchen, Asher is taking care of infant AJ like a father figure. Mia Horcher's character, Jamie, enters the room dressed and prepared for work. She's nervous about her new job, but Asher reassures her that everything will work out and promises to drop the baby off at daycare. Coop, Layla, and Patience arrive at the Baker residence with flowers to assist Spencer in setting up the home for Olivia's surprise welcome home celebration. Spencer makes light of the fact that he intended to finish decorating today in order to attend Layla's new club's grand opening, where Patience will be making her stage debut following her stabbing. An item on TV news interrupts the group's discourse. The video footage of Miko stabbing patients at the Baker residence was handled by unauthorized persons. The prosecution's case against Miko will therefore be a she said versus. She said case, and the tape cannot be utilized in it. According to a legal expert, Patience's character will probably be attacked by the defense. Spencer is criticized by Coop for not wanting to spend time alone with Olivia. He claims that Spencer is arranging a party rather than spending time alone with Olivia, and he wants Laura to accompany him to the airport so they can pick her up. In a reverse statement, Spencer claims that Coop has been keeping Patience in the dark about her feelings. Nevertheless, Coop argues that she hasn't discovered the ideal moment because Patience was stabbed, had to spend six months in a New York treatment center, and is currently attempting to restart her career against the backdrop of this trial. Spencer spends some alone time at the beach house reading a letter Olivia wrote him. The episode rewinds to his time spent in London with Olivia, as he does. While in bed, she expresses her passion for the city. Although she is meant to return to Los Angeles with Spencer, she chooses to stay longer because she believes she is embarking on a significant self-discovery trip. The university president expressed to Boone, Spencer, and Jordan at the meeting the Booster's sincere hope for the next season to be a successful one. He adds that Spencer and Boone were wanted to meet by the Boosters. Boone claims to be busy during the day, but it's obvious that he would prefer not to see them at all. Spencer and Olivia play cards when they eventually have some alone time at the Baker residence. Olivia claims that while she was living in London, she finally came to understand her true self. She has changed, but her feelings for Spencer haven't. That makes Spencer pleased, and he says he's looking forward to getting to know the new her, but he wants to take things slowly. Later, in an enigmatic moment, Olivia reads a text message that says, Miss you already. Return quickly to us. She also admits to Coop that if Spencer hadn't been there, she's not sure if she would have gone back to Los Angeles. Finally, while Boone is finishing off his late-night workout, the university president and a visitor disturb him. Although the president expresses his wish that Boone had met with supporters sooner, Boone's new coaching analyst will be an unidentified individual. The news doesn't excite Boone. Additionally, the new analyst makes it clear that he is there to assist Boone in utilizing Jordan, rather than Spencer, as his greatest asset. For more videos, subscribe.